Today I want to make a quick video about how to change the coolant of S1000R. Uh, this bike has a mileage of 48,000 kilometers. It's been serviced only by BMW. Um, but now I want to change the coolant. A bot, not a genuine coolant, but it's a high quality coolant. Uh, it's recommended uh, um, to use coolant uh, with a specification to minus 30 degrees. Uh, first of all, you should remove the side fairing. It's very easy process. There are a few screws, one below one here and one here after that you should open the cap of the radiator like this and then remove this clamp i don't have a special tool but uh, you can do very easily with a normal normal tool so the recommendation according to the menu is to open this flex tube and drain the water out uh, there is also a washer a screw uh, it's a bleeder of the pump and um, you should open this this bolt also when you take the water out of the engine you should unscrew these two plastic bolts and drain this reservoir out before you start do anything you should uh, warm the engine um, a little bit uh, till let's say 60 degrees um, or maybe more but uh, the problem is if if the water is very hot uh, you cannot uh, it's it's dangerous uh, you can burn yourself um, you should uh, warm the engine because uh, there is a valve uh, which should be open it's a thermal valve so warm the engine um, to 60 degrees make sure that the radiator here is hot and then shut off the engine then uh, open this cap carefully and as i told you drain the water out from from here from these holes um, according to the menu there is a uh, 2.9 liters uh, inside uh, inside the systems so i bought three liters of this coolant but before i change the coolant i will um, uh, wash the system with um, deionized uh, water bought from the tank station is very cheap so guys the engine is still hot and i will wait for uh, 15 or half an hour to cool down and then i will start with draining the liquid out so i don't have a special tool for this clamp uh, that's why I, i'm gonna use normal pliers so guys we already have a 60 degrees uh celsius of the coolant so we can start uh, with draining the fluid out first of all remove the the cap of the radiator then remove the 
this clamp. Like this. Then remove this screw. This is the sealant of of the water pump. This is a bleeder, like a bleeder. It's, nothing is coming out, so you can put it back. Now, unscrew those plastic bolts of this reservoir. And drain the reservoir like this. You can put it back in place. Put the hose back. And put the the clamp back so make sure the hose inside and then the clamp should be also aligned in this marker and point in this direction so guys, first I want to clean the system with uh, deionizide water bought from the tank station. I will start from here. When the system is full, you should start the engine, wait till it gets hot, till 100 degrees, 
shut it down and then fill the rest uh, in the in the system because there is some air inside you should do it with the open cap when the system is full without uh, the air uh, you can fill this reservoir when you um, no, after that uh, with a cold engine you can fill it uh, between two markers minimum and ma maximum this should be done on the cold engine So now the radiator is full. You can close the cap. So now I will fill this a reservoir. But as I told you, it should be done on a cold engine. So I will wait until the bike is really, really cold. And then I will fill here fluid and here fluid between two markers.